Hi everyone, this is Terry. Would you like to learn how to create a knockdown stitch? Well, I'll show you one way you can do it in PE Design 11. There are actually several ways you can accomplish it, but none of them are as fast as what we call the one-click wonder, which is what Cindy Hogan calls it in BES4. Let me show you BES4 first. So in BES4, you can see this little design has the knockdown stitch. Let me go ahead and delete it from the sewing order. While the design is selected, and to select everything in BES4, you just choose Select All or Control A or drag your cursor in a bounding box around the design. You go to the Tools tab. You can see Home, Arrange, and Tools, and select Nap Control. I'll leave it at 0.08 and I'll ask to add a finishing run and I'll choose to offset from the stitches and choose OK. This creates a background mesh. Right now it's, it's light and it's highlighted. Let me make it a darker color so you can see it. But you can see it's nothing more than a net fill. So let me show you how to do that in PE Design 11. We'll go over to PE Design 11. I've already created it here, but let me go ahead and delete this from the um, design so that I can show you how, how to create it. Okay. Now that I just have a design, what I need to do is I need to select all. So we'll select all. And after it's selected, choose the embroidered patch. You don't want a satin stitch outline, so choose no and choose OK. And then what it does is it creates an outline that is around the, your design. You can change the shape if you want. By editing the nodes, I'm, I'm happy with it, so I'll leave it as it is. Let me click off and select the last element in my sewing order and move it to sew first because you want to have your knockdown stitches behind your design. Now, you can also move by just dragging it, but when you have several items in your sewing order, it's easier just to choose sew first. Now, I also need to select it, so I have the black handles around it. That means I can do something with it. And I, I do want to keep the running stitch. Let's change the color of it, and we'll make it, a, we'll make it this light gray. And then I want to choose a net fill, and... I'll make that net, uh, net fill also this light gray. I think you can see that on the screen. Now I need to change this, the size of that net fill so it holds down the nap of the, of the uh, towel that I'm sewing on. So I'll go down to spacing and I want to move that to about two millimeters. I also like to choose a different angle for this because I like it to be more of a diagonal look and you can see that it's finished. Now let's compare it to the one that we have in BES4. You, it took maybe one or two more, more clicks to accomplish this, but you have to realize PE Design 11 is a digitizing software and BES4 is really more of a letter, lettering software. So this is uh, the PE Design 11 and here is BES4, and you can see these both look the same. You can see that there's a particular pattern that's called the nap pattern, which I think looks very similar to the net fill. You could probably look in your motif stitches to see if you have something that is similar, but hey, I think this will work for me. And I hope this video was helpful for you, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.